A uh, Swiss Red Cross from Octogon of the Templars is a highly criminal organization which was set in place by the Sly Swiss from Octogon, home of the Templars, in the year 1863 and one year before the first Geneva Conventions in 1864. Why? In the 19th century the emperors of France and Austria were at war and their imperial armies clashing in northern Italy close to the Swiss border in Italy. Accumulating in the Battle of Solferino on June 24, 1859 were altogether 300,000 men of the Empress Franz Josef I and Napoleon III clashed. The Swiss were very afraid that the war would spark over to their Switzerland, home of the Templars, who agitated with their new Masonic system against the European monarchies, so they wanted to spy on the war, and came with the typical sly Swiss idea of hearts and minds by sending neutral doctors to sort of propose medical assistance to the wounded soldiers and spy at the same time. Therefore they sent their Freemason Templar Henri Dunant who eventually founded the Red Cross of the Swiss Templars. The idea of course was much older than that and already used during the Crusades by the Johannita Knights amongst others by helping the sick crusaders. So here this here you can see the German doctors today who come from a direct lineage of the Johannita crusaders who helped the crusaders uh, at those times and they they still do it today. These are doctors. So the Red Cross is in fact a Swiss Freemason organization which gives some humanitarian donations in order to hide their real intentions. This is the very thing Freemasons always do. They call it hearts and minds. So no wonder that the Swiss Red Cross handed out at least 9000 Red Cross passes in the Machtgasse 49 in Bern Octogon to deliberately help thousands of the biggest war criminals and mass murderers escape to friendly fascist regimes in Spain and Argentina. So here you can read the article from uh, 2012. Switzerland's involvement in all this, the Red Cross, it's all Templar stuff. Punch pause. Where Joseph Mengele passed through the Swiss Nazi red line, who committed indescribable acts of torture on thousands of defenseless children in the concentration camps. And now his family, Mengele, they have the biggest enterprise of selling agricultural um, equipment like cars, uh, trucks and, and uh, tractors and things like that. A very very big company where, where you can find their articles in all over Europe. Um, you can see the Mangala family, they're building these sort of things here. This, this is the same family. Very big company. I mean where did they get the money from, eh? Yeah, it's 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 a billion dollar company. It's amazing. This is uh, war criminals' money. There's no doubt. They didn't even bother to change the name. Look, Mengele. You find this all over Europe. These are the winners of the Second World War and the crimes against humanity. And where Adolf Eichmann, responsible for the murder of millions, got his Swiss Red Cross pass under the name of Ricardo Clement. 
uh, here we can see this is the Swiss Red Cross here. Big time criminals, I tell you. Geneva, Switzerland. And here's Adolf Eichmann. They just gave him another name. And they call him Ricardo Clement. Can you imagine? What a name. I recognize this as typical Swiss humor. During the 16 years of Swiss terror I've experienced, I heard them say a lot of these comments. These Swiss Nazi Templars of Octogon must have had a good laugh together when the Swiss Nazi police chief Heinrich Rotmund filled in the name Clement for their Nazi agent responsible for the murder of millions of people and gave this Mars murderer the Latin name Clement, which means the merciful. This is typical Swiss humor, which I heard too many times already during this 16 years of Swiss humor. And where the butcher of Lyon, France, Klaus Barbie, head of the Gestapo, passed through Octogon, Switzerland of the Templars, and also Erich Pripke, well known for murdering 334 Italian civilians, including children, in the year 1944. And they all got helped by Switzerland. They got a passport and everything, no problem. The same criminal Red Cross said that the prisoners in Auschwitz were having a good time and no harm was done to them. This was in an Auschwitz report by the Red Cross to the Allies. Here you can see the official report uh, about the war. And in 2003, the Red Cross knew about the torture in the Iraqi Abu Ghraib prison, but decided, as ever, to keep silent. Just punch pause, you can read the, the article. That's the Red Cross folks, that's Switzerland. They're a bunch of liars. So you see, the Red Cross said, okay, it's okay, you know, to the Allies, they're, not, they're having a good time, you know. And I know this is all true, what's standing here, because I was severely tortured here in Switzerland through code O to T, putting me in a cell with no oxygen, and they murdered many, many people. The Red Cross knows about it, because I told them so. But they don't do anything. They just smile and say, oh, oh we can't do anything. Well, this is in Switzerland. This is under their noses. They're still as criminal as they've always been. This is true. I've, I've experienced this with my own eyes here. They're a bunch of crooks. So we see that the Swiss Red Cross can be more associated with Nazis, war criminals, murder on millions, organized crime and death than with helping people. They're just a Swiss spy organization for the Freemasons and the Templars. And now the Swiss Nazis torture and murder immigrants in Swiss torture detention centers and continue to collect Nobel Prizes for peace, just as the Mason Henri Dunant got one. Well, in our world, usually war criminals get Nobel Peace Prizes, don't they now? So the Swiss had their dirty fingers into World War II from beginning to end starting with the financing of Adolf Hitler here in Zurich, 1923, to the escape of at least 10,000 Nazi war criminals through the Red Cross. Octogon is the biggest crime syndicate the world has ever seen, and these Swissies are incredible organized liars, united in crime. They have no conscience at all. Eyes cold as reptilians and all look alike. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. 
And I, Sean Ross, know after 16 years of incessant terror on me and my family and torture how incredibly evil the Swiss people are. They are capable of just anything. Octagon Switzerland is protected by worldwide masonry with their men and women on all key positions, making sure that no country in the world will ever do something against the motherland and the base of all evil. Jetzt muss sie ihren Opfern in die Augen sehen. Zehn Jahre hat er Verbote bekommen. Wie so ein Fehler in der Macht. Nö. Weiß er, wie ich das beantworten soll? Habe ich einen Fehler gemacht? Nö. Der Fehler ist schon, das ist KZ Bau. Ich musste hier rein aus wie selber reinkommen. Das war mein Fehler. In einer Hinsicht. So here in uh, Octogon, Switzerland in Bern. So now it's Pretty Swiss. Swiss banks, you know, they had the Nazi logo before. Uh, it was called Kreditanstalt, Schweiz. So, Marktkasse, it's just around where the parliament is. So, on March 23rd, uh, 1947, they gave the um, uh, Heinrich Rothmund, the head of the Swiss. Police, he gave the Red Cross passports to all the the German Nazis, thousands of them. Like uh, uh, Mengele, he came through here, and then they went to Luzern. So now they're working here. They had a nice stop in Luzern, and then they took the boat to uh, to Genoa, Italy, and then they, with the paperclip operation, they went to. Uh, they went to Argentina and um, the US. So um, Adolf Eichmann, his name, the Swiss gave his name, Ricardo Clement. And uh, there was also Erich Pripke, Mengele, they all went through here. They came here physically. So now there's a Swiss bank with the Nazi logo, what they had before, like 10 years ago. So now we are 2013. And um, so, who was the president at this time? It was uh, uh, Juan Perón. If I analyze the name Perón in, uh, in Pharaonic, it's Per On. And Per, like in Per A, where the word Pharaoh is from, that means the, um, the big house. So, Perón, that means the house of Osiris. So, it's all Pharaonic. Swiss banks. So now we're going to walk to the uh, to where the uh, here you can see the addresses here. Okay. We walk to where the just around the corner there where they're building. There's the uh, the Swiss Parliament. I mean, is that all linked in? You know, all Swiss watches and loads of money here. So I'll show it to you, it's just around the bend. You know? Thousands of real murderers who killed millions of people. Like Adolf Eichmann, Ricardo Clement. So unfortunately they're building here. So that here is the, the Swiss Parliament, which is just here. And they cave the um, of course they cave the red the uh, the green light for all this. There it is. I can see if there's a, uh, there it says, Mark Gunther. 
So this is box castle number 49. That's where it is. So I'm sorry, I was mistaken. It was uh, March 23rd, 1948, or not 1947. And uh, it's, it's called the Spider, which is very much uh, the Spider organization. And the Spider is octagonal, it's got eight legs. So these are all secret codes for Octagon. And we can see Isis, the sisters of Isis, you know, the Sun Hieroglyph. I showed you before, and the way they took, so that's what, where the people are walking there, that was the marked gasse, and uh, marked gasse number 49, that's where they uh, gave the, uh, the pass of the, the, uh, the devil's pass, they call it, the devil's pass, and there was the red line. The red line of German Nazis and a lot of Swiss Nazis. I can show you a cemetery, cemetery in Lucerne with a German helmet. I'm going to show you in a minute. So, the red line. All through Switzerland who financed Mr. Hitler himself. Uh, you know, here the simplified Templars cross. Gold, Swiss gold. They are so deep in it. This is the, the biggest Nazi country in the world. It was their, their idea in the, in the first place. You know. well, there we are again. This is number 51. And the other one is number 47. It's in between. I don't want to stand in front because they're already looking. Uh, and they say, well, the Germans could never have taken Switzerland because uh, we're all mountains, which is not true. Fif more than 50% of, of the land is flat, and that's where most of the people live. And then there's maybe 30%, which is hilly, and maybe 20% only, or 10. That's real like mountains. But even there, you can get by uh, with any car you can get there, or sure you can get there with a tank. And Switzerland had only five tanks in the Second World War, and Germany had 75,000 tanks. So why didn't they take it? I mean, there's a lot of gold here. They didn't have to go to Auschwitz to get the gold. They could have taken it right here. You know? Well, they set it all up, the Swiss Nazis. Yeah. Swiss Nazi bank. It's funny that this Nazi bank is at exactly this place here, where they gave the Red Cross passports to the uh, the devil's pass to all those Nazis and war criminals. There's the Swiss Nazi bank, exactly on this spot here. Now it says again, Marked Gasse. See? That's where it is. And there was the, the famous number 41 here. 49, sorry. 49. With the Swiss Nazi bank. And they really had a swastika logo before. Kredit Anstalt. So this is the home of the Nazis. This is Octagon, Switzerland. Hey, you want to smile? Swiss Nazi? Look at it. <laughs> they always smile. They say, oh, we're so innocent. We're so neutral. Look at it. Do you believe this? So here's the logo of the Credit Suisse. Um, uh, as it was a few years ago. It looks like a swastika, probably wasn't good for business, so they changed it. And this bank is exactly at the spot where the, um, where the Nazi war criminals in Bern, Switzerland, in the Marktgasse 49, got a Red Cross passport to go to, um, to Spain or Argentina. Look at it. So you think that's a coincidence that this bank is here? No? No, that's not a coincidence. They're the same ones who financed it. Oh yeah, two obelisks for Osiris. Next to the water is Isis. The symbol of the Pharaonic domination in Octogon, Switzerland. Everywhere is the Templars flag, like here. 
En de zal over. En hier zo. In Lutzen. In Octagon, Zwitserland. Everywhere. So, two obelisks. And as it is carved on top, it's a symbol of the circumcision, which is fair on it. So here's an old cemetery in uh, Luzerne. It's full of obelisks. Uh, the quality won't be that good because I uh, I did it with a uh, with a um, mini DV and now I try, look look at the pyramid and here all those Nazis nine thousand Nazis and probably more who got these Swiss uh, Red Cross passes. Uh, to go to Argentine, they they stopped here and celebrated here at the place where there's a a German Stahlhelm from the Nazis, uh, where they commemorate uh, the Swiss who fought uh, for the Nazis in the Second World War. So here, all those Nazi criminals like Josef Mengele and um, Pripka and Adolf Eichmann, uh, they all passed here to commemorate uh, their crimes together with the Swiss Nazis. So very soon you're going to see the, uh, the German helmet here in Switzerland. Look, it's full of obelisks, it's full of pharaonic symbols and um, yeah next to the water there in Luzern. So Luzern is on the on the red line going to Genoa. Oh, look, there it is. You see? A German helmet. It says the uh, fighters who died uh, far away from home for Germany. And it says there 1933-1945 with the uh, with the falcon of uh, Horus on it. So this is definitely the Horus matrix. Yeah, This is the Horus matrix. And all those war criminals, they pass here. There's no doubt, they pass here. So this is definitely, this is a German helmet. This is not Swiss. There you go. So this is on the red line. They probably had a good time here doing some sightseeing, taking it easy after six years of war. You know, the red line going to Argentine from Bern to Luzern to Genoa and then to Argentine or Spain. And they had a happy life afterwards. Maybe even Mr. Hitler went there as well. Apparently he died in Argentine as well. On their way again through the village. The Swiss Templar Army of Octogon. Every man here has one of these assault rifles at home. Loaded, fully automatic. They're more armed than in Texas. It's a caliber 223 Remington. And uh, that one there. Every man has to do this here. So now even professionals. 
The Swiss, they say, we don't have an army. We are an army. Probably very effective. They've done this for thousands of years. You know, terrorizing Europe. Protecting the Pope. So this is in uh, summer 2013, July. Women, some dykes. Well, I mean, there were women, women, female guards in concentration camps, either, you know, so don't underestimate the women. There they are. Oh, it's without an end. So many. Well, this is a Swiss toilet in Octagon. Where you never get, it looks like a prison. You have to pay for it. Look at it. All sorts of codes. Just want to have a go in the toilet. Here it says toilet. Prison toilet. Oh. Uh. 